What is going on guys? John here from John's Fishing Channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'm up in northern Wisconsin. It's my last time I'm going to be able to go fishing for the summer up here. Uh, it's early morning. It's about 7.30 a.m. Um, it's about 65 degrees. The water temperature is 69 degrees, so it's a little cooler than we'd like it. But I have a feeling I can probably pick up one or two fish today before I have to head out this afternoon. I'm excited to get back to my normal life and the normal grind to be back in California and see all my friends. But I will definitely miss uh, fishing at the cabin. But I don't have much time, so I'm going to get right to it. I'm just going to try this little point right here. There's, uh, some weeds just kind of jet out. Going back into this bay. And there should be one or two fish just sitting right on this weed line. All right, well, we picked up nothing at the first spot. I'm going to head around this point to my favorite spot. John's Fishing Channel Tree. Throw it out the dock here, too. Dun -dun, dun -dun. Pull the fish off the log, so it's a good sign. Oh man, there goes my worm. Decent sized fish. Not a bad catch. First catch of the day, Doodle. Isn't that right, Doodle Bear? I'm actually going to try something different today. I'm going to go with a little short pink worm. I haven't actually used these, so I don't know how it'll go. But it's a little less rubber. Fish might pick them up, and they might not. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. There's one. Bam. You liked that. Woohoo! If you look off to the uh, bank, on the lake of the bank here in front of us, about 45 feet, you'll see the elusive Kenobi. <coughs> These creatures are elusive to the north woods. They only come around at certain periods of times of year, and then they disappear off across the plains over the mountains into the Southern California coast. He's a funny dog. If I go and fish, um, if I fished all the way around the shore, like he would just keep following me. I mean, nice and slow, he'd, he'd just kind of meander along the shoreline and follow me and look at me. It's kind of funny. And eventually he finds something that he likes and he sniffs and he just kind of follows the trail off into the woods and then he usually just ends up on the deck by the time I get back. Pretty funny though. He's a good dog. Aren't you Kenobi? Kenobi. Hey big dog. I'm talking about you. Fish on. <laughs> the little guy just lifted him out of the water. Oh, wiggled right out of my hand. Wiggly little guy, aren't you? Wow, what a fantastic trip to the cabin, though. Nikki and I are, by the time you see this, Nikki and I will have been in California for many, many weeks, probably almost three months. Um, but I came up here, I made about, well, I don't know, I made probably 20 fishing videos, maybe 30 fishing videos. All of the videos you've seen, here comes an eagle across the lake. Uh, on John's fishing channel, me up in northern Wisconsin over the last few months have been, uh, oh, that's a neat eagle, have been done in one trip. So, I'm telling you what, I am spoiled with good fishing and I'm blessed to have an amazing family, you know, and a great cabin and a wonderful dad who lets my brother and me come up here, or my brother and I, excuse me, you gotta use good grammar, uh, come up here and go fishing and catch these fish. It's just, an unbelievable experience and I really enjoy it. <laughs> I set the hook, I pulled it right out of his mouth. He got my worm. All right, well, let's go ahead and switch back to like a tannish color, a worm color, see if there's anything else in there. That may not be down with a short pink worm. All right, well, we beat up on these fish for the last month. Let's go try another spot. Just a gorgeous morning, gorgeous morning. Wow, those people are already down there in the water. Ooh, this fish in one of my favorite little fishing holes. I'm out on an island. It's about, I don't know, two to four. There is two squirrels out there. Wow, two to four feet of water. And I just picked up my first fish. There's a bald eagle above me in the tree. He's behind the tree. He's right in front of me. If he flies off, I'll try to get him on camera. <clears throat> but the water is 69 and a half degrees, so it's still kind of warm. You know, it was when I first got up here in May 25th, I think the water was 
60 degrees, you know, so it's, I mean, it's way higher than it was then. There's a loon going nuts over there. There goes the bald eagle. That's a juvenile bald eagle. That's why it's kind of brown and grayish. It's a white and black mix. Turns out to be brownish. He's got a white tail though, so he's getting older. You know what I like about this rubber worm? Well, I liked that rubber worm, but uh, they're weedless. You know, these, these hooks don't really pick up weeds, which is nice. That's the first time we got weeds in a long time. Here's some more eagle feathers. Look at that, I could just reach out and break the law. Reach out and touch face. Reach out and break the law. Because those are definitely eagle feathers. They're kind of cool. Sure, I can't take them or pick them up or own them. But the law doesn't say anything about not running them over with the boat, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm going to get pretty close to it, though. Let me take a good look at it. Yeah, neat. He's losing all of his feathers. He's growing up. <laughs> Those eagles, they grow up so fast. Fish on. He dinkers. Spot number three today is going to be a fallen tree. In well, it starts in on the shore and runs all the way out to four or five feet of water. There's a fish right there. And I was actually just throwing it out to the, there's lily pads about halfway uh, uh, out where the tree is in the water. And I threw my cast out there and I got a fish right away. Just my motor here. Fish number one. Kind of cool, you can see my line moving. Bam, there it is. He was trying to go right underneath the tip of that tree. Nicer fish anyways though. Not a bad one. Nice fish. Nice fish. Whoa, sorry, fish. Nikki's worm. Hot pink. It's the color. Trying to keep the boat at least 20 feet away from the tree. You don't want to spook the bass. Especially the bigger ones. The smaller ones might not spook, but the bigger ones definitely will. They're smart. It's kind of cool because I can see the worm like sinking and then all of a sudden it disappears because the fish has snatched it up. All right, we're gonna try the brown colored worm now. There's one. Feisty guy. Stay away from the trolling motor. Nice fish. I mean, you know, it's medium, I guess, to what I have been catching, but. Not bad. So I reel down on the fish and then set the hook. Just a little guy. Sucks to be a little fish. You don't even get to put up a fight. It's just like, yep, you're coming in the boat. Bam. Well, it's a little bit nicer of a fish. Probably in the 16 inch range. Trying not to let him throw this line on me. <laughs> I love that sound. Well, that's a nice fish, actually. You keep the fish out from underneath the boat. You put your rod tip in the water, you know, and you kind of walk them away from the boat. You don't want them to get under the boat. You don't want to snap your line. Uh, and you certainly don't want to get your line hooked in the back of the boat like I did in one of my recent episodes and then have a big fish get off because oh 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 my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh what a monster 
What a monster. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that could be almost nine. Uh, well, 18 inches, I guess. 17 and a half. But uh, it's a big one. Holy crap. Gotta take a selfie of this one, huh? One more. What a fish. You wanna give him a lick? Oh boy. Just let him go in the water. And he will swim away. I <laughs> really rattled his cage. He's slowly swimming away. He's on the side of the boat now. All right, there he goes. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Oh, that was amazing. I went and hit the water and he just smashed it. Oh, there's another fish down there. Oh, I just whacked him. Oh my gosh. It's interesting. A little bit of a nicer fish. I'm trying to keep him down. But I figure I'd throw it back where I just caught that big one because they usually swim in pairs. And I think I was right. That's a monster. What a beauty. Not as big as the last one, but... Oh, nice fish. Let me take a selfie. Yeah, screw you, bird. My fish. Let you go. Oh, man, I'm telling you, this weed line is just perfect. Perfect. You know, it has about a three, four foot drop off. I mean, right, it follows the weed line. The weeds grow to the edge of the drop off, so it's just, it's fantastic. Another decent sized fish here. Oh, yeah. Nice fish, like at one point in time he got stabbed by something or bitten by something. He's got some sort of bacteria on him right here. Almost looks like a miniature leech. I think it is a miniature leech. leech. Ugh, I hate leeches. Bam, just like that, got another fish. Yeah, they're all decent size too, nice school. Couldn't ask for a better day of this. As we can. I think Thor just broke wind in my boat. You're a cute little dog, aren't you, Doodle? All right, well. Whoa. I got one more spot in the lake that I want to try. I think I'm gonna fish around this point, these weeds up to this dock, and then I'm gonna cruise over to this third spot and then probably wrap things up. But this next little stretch should be pretty good. There's a real nice drop off in between me and the weeds, so. Oh my gosh. Wow. That could have been a muskie. Ay caramba. Ay caramba. That was one of the most violent strikes I have ever felt on a fishing pole and that is cut clean off oh that was a big fish doodle that was a big fish you hear that Thor that's the sound of us not getting that muskie in the boat disappointment that's kind of interesting to me um, I mean, I don't know. That was either the biggest bass I would have ever caught in my life or a muskie. Um, but this is where I was fishing with my brother. I was fishing a topwater muskie lure and about 10 feet from the boat, you know, I was fishing it about that far from shore and it was one of those little propeller spinner baits and I got about 10 feet from the boat and something came up and turned on it. And I wasn't quite sure. I mean, that's muskie behavior, but I didn't see the fish, so I can't tell you whether or not it was a bass or a muskie. All I can tell you is a fish definitely came at my lure and turned at the last minute and made two big swirls, and I saw his tail swimming away from me. But 
I just caught a glimpse of the tail, so I wasn't able to identify the size or the color or the shape or anything like that. It was just like a thin line swimming away from me. Um, but yeah, uh, wow, wow, that was, I want to give you the jitters, catching a fish like that or even seeing it or feeling it, just knowing it's out there. So if you were a fish, I would have caught you a hundred times over by now. Yeah, I'd have you mounted on my wall. That's how many times I would have caught you. Watch his tail. <laughs> You're a funny dog, Thor. Oof, well, it's that time where I gotta put away all the stuff again and hit the road and head back home to California. I'm really excited though, I had a fantastic trip up at the cabin. By the time you see this, I've been in California for a really long time, remember that? Uh, but what a fishing trip, it was a blast fishing with my dad and my brother, I got to go fishing with Nikki and her dad, um, and I really just love fishing, I had to take a couple other people out fishing while I was up here and it was just a blast, so had a really a fun time catching bass on uh, the rubber worms and the rubber frogs, and man, I wish I would have got some more bigger fish, but I can't complain because I caught some just ridiculously big fish, caught a lot of fish, um, and I had a really good time, and it really just doesn't get better than this, so thanks for watching, guys. I'm John from John's Fishing Channel, and we'll see you next week with more fishing.